What's the second biggest market for polyethylene film in North America? I'm Jim Kalari, Editorial Director of Plastics Technology, and I'm joined by Kevin Huntsman, who is president of market research firm Mastio & Company. Mastio has recently released a study of the polyethylene film market, and Kevin can answer that question. So, Kevin, uh, number two, according to your research, and it, this is in terms of pounds, is the institutional trash bag market. Correct. Uh, so what insights can you share about what you found? It's, it's an interesting market. It's not that glamorous is what I put at the top of my notes, Jim. It, it is what it is, really commercial and industrial businesses uh, using these liners, these trash bags, most often sold through distributors. Uh, in, in some instances, I think some of the largest buyers will di buy directly from the converter themselves. But this is more of a distributor run type business where that distributor is selling multiple products that 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 buyer is buying trash bags and other items as well from the distributor. Monolayer market, I would imagine, obviously all blown film. That is correct. There's there is believe it or not, we found a little bit of coax, but just a few percent. But it's definitely 100 percent monolayer film. Uh, and we do have some PCR included in that as well. When we think about the, the resins, obviously, um, uh, you think about institutional trash bags, that's a place for PCR. And we definitely uh, were able to capture feedback and pounds associated with that PCR. Mm -hmm. And what can you say about material trends, if, if any? You know, it's a good question. And, and, and before we hit on the material trends, when we look at this market, uh, we do see that the five largest do hold about 75% of the market. Jim, so not surprising when you look a lot of look at a lot of markets, but really a pretty good split, not exact, but a pretty good split between linear low and high density. Linear mm -hmm. low being the, the the bigger polymer for this, but high density, especially high molecular weight, yeah. high density. Uh, when you look at this particular market, then like I said, PCR is a piece of that as well, but really dominated between linear low and high density. Mm -hmm. And what are we looking at, like in terms of pounds? Is that approaching the two billion pound mark? It's, it's approaching the two billion pound mark. That's correct. So obviously, we still have one more to go. That's a bit bigger, right. uh, but it's approaching that two billion pound mark. And really, a, from a growth rate percentage, we're looking at a couple of percent per year. So not 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 dynamic growth, but Jim, mm -hmm. for a market that's this mature to have some growth in it, I think is 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 a good story for the converters and for right. the resin companies. Right. All right, thanks, Kevin. Um, over the past few weeks, uh, Kevin and I have talked about the leading markets for polyethylene blown film based on his research. We have covered nine of them so far. Uh, you can catch up on this video series on the Plastics Technology YouTube channel, on the Plastics Technology LinkedIn page, and on my personal LinkedIn page, uh, Jim Kalari. So we have Kevin, nine down one to go and uh that number one market is um i'm not going to spill the beans uh just yet tune in next week thank you thank you jim